We're thrilled to be joined by Associate General Manager of the Sabres, Jason Carmanos. Jason, welcome to the show. I have to assume that in the very short period of time that you've been with the Sabres, you have spent parts of most waking hours trying to track down players for the Rochester Americans, given everything they've been going through. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's been a tough one there. But, you know, on the flip side, it's it's great experience for the young guys that are up here in Buffalo right now. Um, that's what it's about, you know, uh, getting these kids uh, experience playing at the, the highest level in some situations that uh, they're hopefully going to face on a regular basis in the future. So, um, you know, it's that time of year. And one guy that did embrace that role an unexpected opportunity was Jack Quinn whose season gets shut down today as he uh, opted for hernia surgery and I say opted that's a group effort that consulted to make this decision give us a thought on uh, the procedure for Jack at this point in time and and what it means moving forward for someone at a still very young age to have had this experience this year yeah it's you know it's it's disappointing in one respect that you know he doesn't get to continue to play out the season uh but it's been a great experience for him uh, everybody that i've talked to um has said he's he's done a great job uh, made uh, great relationships with his teammates um you know there's clear that it's a bright future for jack it was just something that was nagging him uh something uh that we decided to to get done um pretty routine i think these days uh this procedure usually a six week uh thing so you know that gets him set up for the summer you know obviously for a young guy like jack it's a big summer uh continued physical growth uh and uh you know it's all positive from this year for him jason when you came in obviously working alongside uh, kevin adams uh, you've known him for a long time. Your relationship goes a long way. Uh, did you know Kevin was destined to be a general manager or working in hockey when you first met him and you knew him as a player? Yeah, you could you could see that track record for him for sure. Uh, he uh, when we traded for him. Well, first of all, let me back up. When we were kids, he's just you know always the type of uh, guy that's uh, had leadership qualities on and off the ice. You know that's a big part of uh, being a general manager, in my opinion. And then when we uh, traded for him, actually, when I was working for Carolina, uh, that was evident as well. And, you know, ended up wearing a letter on our uh, uh, cup team in 06 in Carolina. So, uh, yeah, with those qualities, his work ethic, uh, you know, his knowledge of the game and, and his experience in the game. Yeah, it was a, a no brainer that he'd make it to the highest level in, uh, uh, in management. Jason, what have you learned about this uh, new organization here in a, in a week and a bit? <laughs> yeah, I've been saying it over and over again. I've been swimming upstream a bit this week. Uh, there's definitely a lot to do. Um, and, you know, that's not a comment in the organization. It's just a comment of coming into uh, a new organization. I've been the new guy before. Um, it, you know, it, it's, it's a fun position to be in, but it's also one where you're, you know, you're down to learning names and faces and uh, that's made more difficult this year with the masks, um, but we're trying our best and uh, I'm trying my best to remember everybody's name. Um, hoping that nobody's testing me on uh, on that uh, this week at least. But uh, I've met a lot of great people. I mean, it's clear that there are a lot of great people in the organization. Um, I'm really excited to be here, excited to work with everybody. Well, we'll give you a week to know our names, but a couple months to know everybody's name. Uh, one of your biggest challenges, probably getting ready for the draft with the OHL not playing this year, the WHL no playoffs, uh, players not really playing anywhere. So what's that been like and what do you expect moving forward preparing for the draft? Yeah, it's it's a different year for everybody. You know, uh, the good news is it's the same uh, same for everybody. You know, no team has an advantage that way. No NHL team has an advantage in, in trying to handicap this draft. So. You know, I'm excited. I'm going to uh, Dallas next week uh, for the U18s. Uh, it's going to be great, yep. um, not only to see the games, um, uh, to actually spend more time with some of our staff. Uh, you know, been to the U18s uh, uh, lots over the years. So um, it's, a, it's a great, in the past, it's been a great uh, sort of final exam for uh, these kids. Um, you know, maybe not the oldest in this year's draft class, but you know, a big chunk of the draft eligibles are always playing in this tournament. Um, you know, makes you more thankful this year than past years to have it, you know, just given what's gone on this year. So really looking forward to that. And it's a continued process of information gathering on, uh, on the amateur side, you know, for myself, getting to know staff, 
but certainly uh, doing the work, you know, whether live or on video, preparing for the decisions we got to make on uh, at the draft. Jason, we're thankful for the time. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Good to see you guys.